All right, so this is uh, multi-touch on the MacBook Pro, as in it doesn't actually work quite yet, but at least we can get the data. So uh, to get the data, what we need to do is we need to mount debug FS. So uh, we will do a sudo, and I'm just pulling it up from what I did beforehand. Do a sudo mount, ask for my password, blah, blah, blah. And now I do a sudo um, mod probe USB mod. And lastly, I do, oh, what do I do? Oh, that's enough for now. Um, Actually, what I will do is I'll record or show you that I can get traffic um, from this. And I hope this is the right bus. It may not be the right bus. Oh, I'm in the wrong directory. Okay, so here. And that's that's my our basic USB data. So that's... Um, it being stupid, really. So now what we'll do is, we'll do this, well, hold on. So after you've done it, the the box will go gray because GTK is not, the main loop's not getting run. Um, so you just wait until it hit. It'll, the title will change to done, which means it's no longer reading from the USB input. And at that point, the GTK main loop is running and that's why it's not gray anymore. Um, so then you can close it, actually, I probably should have stopped the log, but I'll clean the log up. Um, so we can stop the logging here, and then it's a pretty big file. So we can open it up in gedit here, and then, like I said, it's a big file. So that's the USB mon log data that we got, and all this can be opened in TouchView. <laughs> it's still opening. It's up to 42,000 lines here, so it's quite a lot of data. Um, so looks like it loaded it all, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm going to truncate it here. Like all this stuff is the shutdown stuff, so I'm going to take that out of the file. Um, and here's uh, the 54, you probably can't see that, but there's a 54 byte packet that came in and uh, that's a single finger. So um, I'm going to have that be the last one, then that won't make the, the data funny. And there's also a single finger at the beginning of the file. Um, so there's our multi-demo, um, that's the other video. And if you want to replay it, um, if, if you don't have this or you don't want to have it steal uh, your keyboard and your mouse, see, like, if, if I try to type here, it's nothing anymore. Um, it's a problem. But I've got actually two, out, out of the frame, I've got an external keyboard. You can see it coming in here. And then also an external mouse that I've been using. Um, I would recommend that, too. So now I can go into logs and do the multi, I think that's where I did it. Maybe I, maybe I did it in this directory, so. Multi demo, yeah, tab completion, thank you. Um, and we also don't need to run this as root. We used to need to run it as root because we were doing USB stuff, but now we're not. So open it up, it should go in the middle here. Um, but now you can see that it's replaying because my hands aren't on the touchpad at this point. It's replaying what uh, what we did earlier in the other video. Um, and that's not... It's all of the USB data, so you can actually figure out um, or test theories about what particular bytes are. Uh, using log data, you don't always have to get fresh data the moment you find something else new. Um, all right, so that's going. There's also another way of viewing the data, and I suppose I can do it in this one. I'll let that go. It's pretty long. You can still see it's still going. Uh, but there's also, uh, and this is going to crawl. I also have a viewer. 
um, which you could load a file, and I'll load the multi-demo, and it'll take a little while to render. Oops. Um, so right now it only supports a particular length of PAC-54. Um, so all the single, uh, it'll just show all the single finger information. And you can see that that popped up, and it, it'll need to render it all out. You can see that it's crawling. And you can see we're trying to, in the, in the replay, this is where we get 11 fingers on it. All right. So this, on the replay, we have eight so far, and we'll get 11 and shortly. But let me show you this log instead. Um, and it, it's kind of small, so, whoa. That's a good bug. That's not my bug. All right, so that was a compass bug. So here you can see, or you may not be able to see, that there's blue lines that go up and down. So um, what it is is that each one of these is a packet. It packets what I'm calling it. So it's 54 bytes that's sent as, a, as one chunk. Um, it's one snapshot of what the finger is doing. And then uh, on the x-axis you have the time. So this is the first one we got, and the last one is way over here. Um, and it lines it all up so that you can see trends uh, like uh, we've got byte labels here. Uh, currently, it's there's two ways of doing it. You can just do 0 to 53, or you could do 0 to 25, and then 0 again because it duplicates packet information or finger information depending on how many fingers there are. So, this one is the prologue finger information uh, epilogue. It, it could also be prologue finger finger epilogue. And then that wraps over, so you get a 64 byte and then you get an 18 byte for a total of 82 bytes in that case. Um, but you have labels here, so, you, so these two bytes here are the X and Y, and they're flipped currently. Um, the viewer also flip them, so you can see it. Uh, I don't know what some of this other stuff is, it's all up in the air. Um, but I have X, Y, DX, DY, and then I also have that notion of pressure, which is 16 and 17 here. And you'll see that if you run the, the program yourself. Um, so that's the viewer, and that's kind of how I get a feel for all the data. And then this one is a pretty long file, and you can see all that. So it's all rendered out. And the, the, the replay is also done here, so we can close that. Um, there's one other kind of useful, well, one other script that I wrote called the analyzer that um, tells you over a set of things which bits are all are always the same. Um, but I don't use that anymore. The viewer and the touch view are pretty cool, but the the other one I don't use very much. Um, for a finger, there's uh, 28 bytes, but I only know. 10 of them tentatively, so there's lots more to figure out. And uh, more updates will come as I figure them out.